All praise on the Alba Shimia Shai Bashimu Kakadash. Double honors on the apostles of Great Millstone. Honest your brothers that be pushing this truth and sincerity for the four corners of the earth. This here again is another quick video. This is an update on the Yaham on the markets. And um basically what's this video we're gonna be able to see throughout. Um, by the end of this video is that the American economy is pretty much um, a finish and we've been saying that for the longest time uh, and it's been at its worst point today as of today since uh, 1945 and um, you know some people might say oh it's going to recover and this that and the third and um, well the question is going to be how is it going to recover you know all of this uh, money that was made that came through vast amounts of technological advancements that happened um, where you with you had all types of economic booms. Uh, one that comes to mind was around about the 2000 when you had the internet boom. You're going to have a resurgence of the internet boom. Um, you had a manufacturing boom uh, where with cars were being sold all over um, from America. And now the Japanese and the Chinese have predominantly taken over that market. Um, you know, Detroit existed in the 70s, uh, Motor City, and that's not null and void now. So the resurgence of that economic um, superiority that America had is uh, is, is not going to happen. Um, it's never going to be um, what it was uh, before. In fact, the scripture says we would have take we, we would have um, healed Babylon. Uh, you know, we've taken balm for her, but she could not be healed. And that's indicative of America uh, because it is America. Um, and how um, you know the wounds that are within this um, within this state within this country, the financial wounds, the infrastructure wounds, the the, the morale of this place is um, is uh, is not going to be healed, man. It's, this this is it, all right? Like you had the Michael Jack Jackson tour, this is it, and then you know the the dude dropped drop dead. And that's the same thing that you're going to see with America, man. Uh, the Heavenly Father is going to um, destroy. It. All right, but we know from before, prior to the Heavenly Father destroying America, they're gonna try to um, they're gonna try to um, what do you call it? They're gonna try to set up this new world order, this this chip pursuant to the Book of Psalms, the eighty third chapter, the you know the crafty, wicked that have their uh, secret councils. That's the so called Illuminati and the um, elite uh, banking families that are out there uh, trying to um control take control over the earth and everybody knows it man everybody knows it i was speaking to an individual that's uh has is not in you know he's not within the truth or anything like that just a uh individual i know from the gym and he was um basically giving me the lowdown you know he was breaking it down to me as though you know he it was um he was you know he had the gar like he had the garment and everything like he like he had uh, uh, been privy to the um information of the uh, 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 uh the elders of great millstone black goes to show you that people are waking up to this being being uh, a setup and how that the objective of the elite banking families is to take control over uh the entirety of the globe and to control every facet of life uh possible and um people are beginning to realize that and as a result uh, 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 they're going to have to force this chip upon people. Just like how this, this, the scripture says, you know, you're going to have individuals that's going to be beheaded for an, for an account of Yahweh Shai and not taking this chip. Because when this chip comes out here, we're going to know what it's all about. And the chip that we're speaking about is the, according to the book of Revelations, the 13th chapter on the 16th verse, where with it says he causeth all, both small and great, who is the he? Esau, the red Hebrew Edomite, uh, that was uh, prophesied to be the, the, the man on the red horse, Taking peace unto whom power was given to take peace from the earth. So um, he's going to have that chip out here. And uh, in order for that chip to happen, you have to have a reason. A lot of these uh, events that played out within the world, Esau does a thing of plausible deniability. Esau had it to where there was a plausible reason to why it happened. And um, the reason for this chip, you're going to see is the economy is going to be uh, down and they will use other reasons um, to to um, have these people accept the chip. So let's go through this article and go to show you that America's pretty much finished. And this is um, from Zero Hedge. I got another article uh, from another source that has corroborating evidence and they're going to say basically the same thing but in slightly different terms. 
And sometimes that's that's good to do to see the same article across two different platforms because it gives you a, a fuller understanding of what's 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 happening. And I've got a, a few key terms here defined to give you a, a feel of what's really going on. Because if you don't really define some of these key terms, then the scope of the um the and the veracity of the situation sometimes is not clear. Uh, CBO projects US debt will hit a record 100 and uh, 7% of GDP in 2023 and then explode. So remember the key statements that I made prior to this is that they are going to want to have this um, chip out here. They're going to want to have it to where this uh, uh, society enfolds within itself and they want to present uh, the solution to be the, the RFID chip, the mark of the beast. And the economy, if the economy is strong, then what need do you have um of the RFID chip mark of the beast. So CBO projects US debt will hit a record 107% in GDP and then explode. So let's define what the CBO is or let's find out what the CBO is. And if you're out there within America, you should know these terms already. You should be familiar with these terms because these are terms that directly govern how you live. Uh, the Congressional Budget Office. The Congressional Budget Office is a federal agency within the legislative branch of the United States government that provides budget and economic information to Congress. So that they've deemed, uh, this is what they've said. So this isn't some random um, CEO of a company that's made a statement of which, you know, we've made, I've made plenty of videos where a CEO has made a statement and off of the back of that, I've made a, a, a video off of that. And uh, some of those things didn't play out, but the scriptures talk about hastening within the day and uh, hasting um, for the Lord's return. And part of uh, hasting within the Lord's return is seeing this economy fall. This was, remember, this was, um, this economy is is, is is part of what Esau uh, uh, deems as his stronghold for a long, for the longest, right? Especially the low level Edomites that really think that these uh, elites are gonna look out for them. For them, the economy is what, that, what made them special. They are out here within their pride thinking that the, um, the, the pound sterling is gonna deliver them. They're out there within their pride thinking the, the, the dollar is going to save them and it's not going to save them. Right, so to continue, this ain't some random CEO. This is the advisors to the uh, to Congress. OK, the uh, let's 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 use the word that they use the Congressional Budget Office. So this is a, a, a branch of the government, if you will. And they're saying pretty much from this statement, that you're fucked. But a lot of people ain't going to see this um, this video. And a lot of people, even lesser people, are going to know what these uh, terms mean to their day-to-day -day life. Okay, uh, let's define that word uh, GDP. You should know what GDP is. Uh, they show, they tell you about that within, um, you know, within geography when you are um, uh, very young. It's like 14, 12, 13, 14 within this country, they teach you about gross domestic product. And it's just a, a measurement of, a, um, of um, how a country is doing in terms of economy. Not the best measurement, but it's a measurement nevertheless uh, as to how good or bad a country is doing. Remember, there are certain businesses with a greater overall GDP, if you will, than some of these different countries that you have out here. That is to say, you take a branch of uh, Apple and you take the, 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 the earphones or something like that. They, they got a greater GDP, if you will, for lack of a better statement than some of these countries. Right. And um, what you need to know about these countries, a lot of these countries, they're basically corporations. If not all of these countries are, are basically corporations. And if a company can go bust, well, these corporations are going to go bust. And that's why this uh, chief, uh, not chief, sorry, I keep on uh, using that term chief, but rather more this, um, uh, the CBO, Congressional Budget Office, has said it's going to go what? That the economy is going to go, uh, it's going to explode. <laughs> and they're kind of giving you a timeline. Things could escalate faster than that, but they're giving you a timeline that we hope it's going to escalate faster than that because we hope for a day where we're going to have rest. So uh, let's let's define that word GDP. It says gross domestic product is a monetary value of all finished goods and services made within a country during a specific uh, period. GDP provides an economic snapshot of a country and is used, uh, used to estimate the size of an economy and the growth rate. GDP can be calculated and it goes into it. So if you go on Investotop Investopia, Investopedia rather more, that's going to define all of those um, terms that I've gone through here and ultimately um, the term GDP as well. On Wednesday, in the latest update, 
on uh, to its uh, 20, 2020 to 2030 budget outlook, the um, Congressional Budget Office said that it now projects a federal budget of federal budget deficit of 3.3 trillion. Again, let's def define uh, another t key term. When you define these key terms, the, the picture becomes clearer. And, and I always use um, this man, um, uh, Henry Ford, of which I believe the elder said he it's possible that he was a Jake. And remember, you know, he did revolutionize every single manufacturing process that you had underneath the sun through um, his um, oh, bastard. So this thing is stuck. Okay, I, I could definitely I'm definitely not going to reload that this page. Uh, sorry, I'm definitely not going to switch the internet off that, but that, that was stuck. I, I can explain it to you. But uh, Henry Ford, one of the things that he said was, um, if these people understood the economy, then they would revolt. So when you see um, the government spending and allowing you to stay at home and they'll pay you, really, that's what you should be writing for. Because what they're doing is that they're actually increasing your your um, the deficit. So a budget deficit is what? is uh, when you exceed the amount of money that you've spent in, in, in contrast to how much you've uh, generated as a government. That's what you know as a federal budget deficit. And um, what you're supposed to be in is you're supposed to be, I forget what the opposite word for deficit is, but basically you're supposed to be, like the uh, economic terms, I, f I forget the opposite of a deficit, but you're supposed to be um, in, in a profit, right? A, a federal budget profit, if you will. Uh, but obviously they're in a deficit because they're spending, uh, and I'll use their terms, I'll use their exact numbers, they're saying they have a deficit of $3.3 trillion. So they've generated a certain amount of money and they have um, they have, a, have spent $3.3 trillion uh, a, a above that. So there's a, you know, a huge amount of money that's been uh, made and there's an even bigger amount of money that's been uh, uh, spent and the shortfall of that is $3.3 trillion. It says more than... Um, more than triple the shortfall recorded in um, 2019. So if we take do some quick maths on the top of our head, uh, if it's three times, then we know 1.1 1 .1 times three is 3.3 .3 trillion. So in 2019, the deficit was 1.1 1 .1 trillion. Again, who's going to pay for that? It goes into that debt, lo debt clock, that American debt clock. And I suppose that would have been a good thing to um to present here. Would have been the 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 um the United States debt clock, right? But um I didn't prepare it, and once I start doing a video, I read I you know I'm not gonna switch off my flight mode. Um, that's when uh everybody wants to ring. <laughs> you know you're doing a you know you sit there you be sitting home depressed <laughs> because nobody's gonna contact you, and soon as you do a video, everybody within the world uh you know starts contacting you. And that goes to show you that you know this thing that we do is spiritual, man. How be it? You know, all of these distractions come about at the a precise point of doing the work, man. All right. Uh, but to continue here, so you understand what the, the, the deficit is and how that is uh, um, two point, roughly 2.2 .2 trillion uh, greater than last year. Again, last year's money wasn't paid off because this year's money is not, not paid off. And this is now uh, greater than the uh, GDP or rather more hitting 16% of uh, the GDP. So it's less than that. My apologies. Um, I don't know how they could collect, collect that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the GDP, um, yeah, so it's hitting 16% of the GDP. And um, what was I saying? So, you know, they have a particular budget. Um, the Fed, the Fed, you know, the Feds have a particular uh, budget. And they, they this is uh, showing you how much they've exceeded it by, uh, um, uh, from my understanding. Again, you can correct me on this if I'm wrong uh, within the comment boards. I don't profess, I don't profess to be a... Uh, economic expert but you know i do my best and whatever which way you top it you know this economy is done okay it's, it's, it's finished uh since uh debt compounds uh, the massive surge in leverages means that the average deficit over the 2021 to 20, 2030 period will also rise by at least 2.2 percent two percent uh than the annual deficit um arranged over the past 50 years and they go into it. And speaking on, uh, of the federal debt, it is projected to rise sharply by 98% of the GDP in 2020. All right, so the federal debt is going to increase by that much, which is a lot. Right? 
This, this excludes social security debts and will exceed 100% in 2021. It increases to um, 107% by 2020, uh, 2023, uh, the highest in, in the nation's history. So, man, fucked. Okay, so you can you can you know you can, you go into this article for yourself a little bit more. Um, I haven't got an eco economics degree. If I if I did, I'll be able to go into it even more, even more depth deeply. And I and and, and I'm under the impression um, that this statement here, uh, the hundred and seven percent that we've mentioned here, is um, you know if you really go into the ins and outs of that, that's going to reveal a shocking tale of uh, bad econ e e economics. Uh, on the account of the American uh, people, man, uh, uh, rather more the American government. See it from CNN. U.S. debt will overtake GDP next year for the first time in uh, since 1946. Um, that's speaking about the same thing, and they've just reworded it again. Uh, I don't profess to be a you know a master of economics, uh, but I'm pretty sure you start digging, you start defining this. Spend a good hour defining all of these different terms and figuring out what means what and what means what and then you'll be able to see that um america's done it's finished so let's get a quick preset before i go uh the book of james um james 5 and 1 it says go to now you rich men weep and howl for your miseries shall come upon you your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten your gold is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, uh, and shall and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasures together for the last days, man. And that's it, man. So with that, I must say all praise unto you. I watch you, 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 I